In this video, you're going to learn five best productivity apps to make you work faster. Most of these apps are for Mac systems. However, if you're using a Windows system, don't fret because I'm going to show you some alternatives that you can use that pretty much do the same job. Also, stay to the very end of this video as I'll show you this game-changing device that's going to 10X your productivity. Let's get started. All right, productivity app number one is called Magnet. This one will help you organize your workspace so that you can arrange your windows the way you want, on the right to the left, taking up half the window or right of the window. This one's especially useful if you have a small screen and not much real estate. It is a Mac app, but I will show you a Windows alternative that does the same job. You purchase it through the App Store. It costs $7.99. But once you install it, you'll see Magnet right here. And let's say we've got two windows. I've got this one here and I've got another one here. Let's take out two of these windows. And let's say I wanna take half the screen and then half for another. I'll make sure I select this screen right here, go to Magnet and select right. Now it's taken half of my screen. With this browser as well, I'll go and set it to the left. What's also great is that you can actually use shortcuts or set your own custom shortcuts. In this case, in order to activate these shortcuts, let's use a different size, such as the top right. On my keyboard, I'll press the Control, Option and I keys. So let's do that now. And there you go. We are taking half that space on the right as opposed to the entire half of that right side. And hey, let's say you're doing some research and you wanna take some notes down. I'll open up text edit and then I wanna place this window on the bottom right. And the shortcut for that is control option K. There we go. And I'm doing some research while I'm also browsing the net. Windows uses an alternate to magnet is called Max2. I haven't tried this out, but I'll provide this link in the description box below, as well as this alternate called Aquasnap. Productivity app number two is called Atex. This is a text expander tool. It will allow you to create your own custom snippets and all you need to do is enter a custom command. It's compatible with Mac and Windows systems, so everyone's winning here. Here's how it works. After you've installed Atex, you can start creating your own custom snippets. You can see here under partnerships, I've created one for campaign budget. All I need to do is enter the plain text. So this is so handy when it comes to repetitive typing. You don't wanna keep typing the same message over and over again, especially if you're doing things like emails, if you're writing articles, if you're posting on social media, things that you always go to, you can put it in to this plain text area, or you can set it to rich text, HTML, script, and also add pictures too. Next, what you do is you enter any command that you want. You do not need the slash, but that's the way I have approached it. Simply put, I've put in forward slash TY, which stands for thank you. And this is a thank you for reaching out. And what is your company's budget for this campaign? I've got my text editor open to demonstrate and let's go and type that command that I've just entered. So forward slash TY, and just like that, it's entered that snippet that I've entered right here. Alternatively, what you can also do is set a custom shortcut. Enter the hotkey and that's all you need to do as opposed to actually typing in the command. So talk about saving time. What do you think about this tool? Let me know in the comments. All right, productivity app number three is called ProMouse. This one specifically isn't going to make you work faster, but I'm also going to save you the frustration of trying to explain things. When you're on, let's say Zoom meetings, if you're doing screen tutorials, creating online courses, let me show you how it works. As you may have noticed, when I was scrolling through the apps, you can see this little circle around my actual cursor. This makes it a lot more visible, a lot more clearer to demonstrate what I am trying to show to people. Just like what you're doing right here. I wanna show this is $3.99. I can do that. What I can also do is draw. So on my Mac system, this is a Mac only app, but I will show you again, a Windows alternative. So what I'm going to demonstrate is drawing on the screen. On your Mac system, you simply hold the option key. And as soon as you hold that and then move your trackpad or your mouse, you can draw anything you want. So you can see I'm drawing right here. To erase it, you simply hold the command key, it's gone. But just like that, 
You can do these types of things using ProMouse. What you can also do is spotlight things so that the focus is on one particular area. By holding the control key on your Mac system, you will enable the spotlight, and then you can spotlight anything like this, like that, this or that. Another great feature of ProMouse is that you can zoom in on a particular section by holding the function key. So let's say we wanna zoom in on this small text, hold the function key, and there we go. We can now read it or demonstrate it to those who are watching. In the settings, you can change the halo color. I've got mine set to yellow. You can also change the actual drawing pen to a different color. I've got mine set to a blue. For $3.99, it's a no-brainer. Windows users, there's a similar tool called Epic Pen. However, this one's more for drawing on your screen. Productivity app number four is called Memory Diog, or in other words, Diagnostics. This one is going to speed up your computer by recycling your memory and cleaning up your memory because we know when we open up multiple apps at the same time, our memory reduces. So therefore, what this does is if we look at the corner, I've got 15 megabytes free. And what happens at this stage is everything just lags. So what you do is you can click this, you go here to the menu and then click on recycle memory. Or you can simply right click here, click on recycle memory and watch what happens. I've got 26 megabytes free. Let's go ahead and recycle memory. And bam, look at that, 15.98 gigabytes free now. You don't have to manually do this all the time. You can actually set automatic recycling of memory by going to the menu, go to preferences. And right here, you can do automatic recycling of your memory. It is a Mac only app, it's free. However, for Windows users, you can try out Wise Memory Optimizer. Productivity app number five is a Chrome extension called Window Resizer. As the name suggests, it will resize your window. It sits at the top here and you can select from one of the predefined uh, window sizes, but you can also set your own custom size and save that. So the next time you want your window to be at a particular size, simply select it from the menu. Let's say this one right here and bam, it has resized it. No longer do you have to drag your window to the size that you want. Simply go back to the window resizer menu and then select your option. Now for the bonus productivity tip, and that is to use a device called a Stream Deck. So this is what it looks like. These are fully customizable shortcut buttons that you can program using the Stream Deck app, as you can see. So whatever I change here, let's say I wanna add a record button right in the middle, you'll see it change right there. The way I've got it set it up is the most common apps that I regularly turn to, let's say Spotify, I can play the music, I can also increase the volume, shuffle it, go back and forward. And one of the big ones is this button right here. This one will switch between my speakers and my headphones. So with the press of a button, I can switch over. Rather than going to the Apple logo, going to system preferences, then going to sound, then going to the output and then selecting from there. So rather than doing that, you'll see what happens. It'll switch right here, back and forward, as you can see. When it comes time for me to record these YouTube videos, all I need to do is press the record button. And then there's this record button. I can also record my screen with one button. The next handy thing I've configured is with magnet. So as you saw at the beginning of this video, you can arrange the windows that you want. So I've got a left side, right side, right top, right bottom. Let's use these two windows, for example. And on my stream deck, I'm going to put right for this one. So bam, that is done. And then this one here, left. That is all I need to do, all using the Stream Deck. And there you have it, five productivity apps to make you work faster, including the Stream Deck device that you can use to take your productivity to the next level. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found any of the apps helpful, do let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which of these tools you'll be installing or are you currently using. I'd love to know and looking forward to sharing the next video with you.